Hello, welcome to the Ansys video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to see different options inside a space claim. So let's get started. So inside a space claim, we can start sketching first of all. So you can select a sketch plane. When you select a sketch plane, you can move your cursor inside this grid view and you can see the different different planes. So this is XY plane, this is YZ plane and this is XZ plane. So I will select XY's plane. So once you select the plane, you can go to the plan view, means perpendicular to this plane and you can start sketching. Suppose I selected rectangle option from this design tools and I draw a rectangle of 24mm by 24mm. Then I can exit from the sketching mode and I can return to 3D mode. Once I return to 3D mode, I can select pool options is automatically selected. And when it is selected, I can select this sketch first of all. Then I can drag this arrow. You can see the arrow over here. And I can drag this arrow in forward direction. And you can see the dimension of this extrusion. Suppose that is equal to 30 mm. And you can see I have created this 30 mm extrude. So it was extrude in design modeler, but it is pool operation inside a space plane. Similarly, I can now directly select this face and I can drag this arrow and specify the dimension of again 10 mm so again you can see the extrusion has been completed so in this way we can create an extrusion suppose again I want to sketch on this face so I will just escape from the this pool option I will select escape then I will select this face then I will select this rectangle option or any other option that is this circle option for example then I can go to the plan view and I can select my circle of 20 mm diameter then I can again go to the 3d mode okay and you can see this circle now when I move my cursor over this circle you can again see the pull operation i can operate this pull operation in order to cut this body and you can see we have created hole in this inside this box so in this way we can use this pull operation in order to cut as well as extrude the bodies in extrude operation we can add a material or we can remove the material when we try to select the edges you can see that we can also apply the fillet option to these edges okay so once you do you can specify the fillet radius also suppose it is equal to 3 mm and then you can click inside this graphics and you can see that we have applied the fillet so in this way we can select multiple edges and we can create this fillet operation also we can see the different different options like spinning option pan option and zoom option also you can see the this arrow which shows the different different view tools like isometric, trimetric, top, bottom, left, right, front, back as well as home. You can also go to the structure and select views. You can see the shortcut for all this views like isometric and you can just change the shortcut from here. But it is by default shortcut so I will keep it as it is and you can see now I am pressing control plus zero again control plus one control plus two Control plus 3, Control plus 4, Control plus 5, Control plus 6, Control plus 7, Control plus 8, and Control plus 9. So in this way, we can create a different different views by using these options. You can directly select these options, or you can press Control plus 1 to 8 or 1 to 9 buttons in order to view the model in the desired way. So this is all about in this video tutorial. In our upcoming video tutorials, we are going to see more options inside of ANSYS Workbench Space Claim Design Modeler. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel.